Are we up? I think we're up. Hello, gamers. Uh, I... Wow, that seems so loud. Uh, I don't have time to do a large talkie sesh tonight because we have a lot to cover in a very small amount of time. That's my disclosure, okay? Uh, what's up, Miss NC fan? Hello, welcome. Uh, so here's the plan tonight. Tonight, we are going to get through 2.1 Star Rail Story. Probably get E6 Acheron, because I have an update there. Uh, and then additionally, there should be a Fae trailer at 11. So we have about two hours to do the Star Rail story, and it was massive uh, for, um, like, 2.0. But I assume that this this particular part will be smaller. I'm hopeful. Play the AFK Journey of the Day? That's Pog. I still have to do my sponsor video. We ran into a slight hiccup, so that got delayed. Uh, but we'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. Uh, you might be able to tune the graphics a bit that might not make your laptop explode. I've had to do that with Star Rail. And even then, I get little glitchy uh, moments on it. So it's still not ideal. Oh, where to put my camera? That's the question. Where to put camera? Maybe... Guard your worthless destiny. I'm not sure where to put this. Does that work for now? Maybe we just hunker down right here. Maybe that's okay. Maybe that's chill. There we go, that's better. Alright, we're gonna hop in. Uh, actually, you know what? Let's rip this quick. Let's just, let's just freaking do this quick. Quick video chat. We're gonna do a quick video. And also pop out a C6 Agron. Or an E6. E6. Not C6. Different game. Similar, but different. The key mapping. Oh, the directional controls. Yeah, yeah. Oh, are you playing on computer? Are you playing on, um, what do they call that? PC client? It was a little awkward on PC, now that I'm remembering that. Uh, I got used to it, but it was a little awkward. It definitely feels like more mobile and thumb oriented uh than like a computer situation all right all right we're gonna rip this quick
And then we come down here for the summon. So I think that's where we want to be. Hello, YouTube. Uh, quick update here. Um, I w if you saw the video yesterday, and it was a long one, uh, Oblivion Knight and I tried to E6 Acheron. One of us was successful, one of us was not. <clears throat> I'll uh, let you figure out who the not was. Turns out, I was in the Astral Express, and that's not a hot location. Duh. You know? Like, literally, duh. So, I pop over to where I think would be a good Acheron summoning area. And I had a couple uh, Jades left over. Right? Turns out, I had gift cards from the company store uh, that I had not cashed in on yet. So, we Google Played that. Uh... And we got, we got some pulls. We still have some pulls. And wouldn't you know it, uh, we have a decent amount of pity built up. I'm thinking like 50-ish? Yeah. 51, technically. We got an Acheron, right? And then uh, we got another Acheron. So... In a matter of about 60 total pulls, we got two more Acheron. Uh, which is a little bit crazy. Which you can see, this is where last night, that's where the summons ended. So, now, here we are. Okay, we're like, I think 40-ish pulls deep. Uh, into our next pity. 50, about 50. So, what I'm thinking is, we just lock this up here now, get our E6, right? And just call it a day. We just call it a day. Uh, we already capped traces. Uh, we already got the light cone all situated. One remains. How about that? How about that? So let's just use our special secret summoning location and just get our seventh and final Acheron. You know what I mean? Let's just let's just do that. Cause why not? It's easier that way. Was hoping a little bit that that would just be the end of it. Uh, but we are now 61 pulls deep. So that means we're fine to come home now. There it is. I have zero concern about the 50-50. I have zero concern about the 50-50. Zero. None. Because we're in our lucky place. We're in our happy place. Okay? We're feeling good about this. We're feeling positive. I have feelings. I have feelings about that. Not great feelings. But not bad feelings. You know? I just I just have feelings about it. Uh uh-huh. Uh-huh. We're not going to need them. <laughs> but it's chill to have them. At least it's guaranteed now. 
There it is, baby. That's it. I told you we wouldn't need them. We got them just because we could. We got them just because we could. Hey, what 50 50, right? What 50 50, right? They just wanted to give me an extra Himiko for my troubles. That's how I look at that. That's how I look at that. Okay? Zero stress. No stress at all. It's chill. It's better than chill, in fact. It's fantastic. Come on home. Okay. Now come on home. There she is. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Back to back five stars? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. That's me. I'm telling you, locations actually matter. Like, straight up, they actually matter. Okay. This? That made a difference. I don't care what anybody says. That made a difference, bro. You're never gonna convince me otherwise. You're never gonna convince me otherwise. Hey, you know what? In 80 pulls after the last five star, we got two five stars. I still see that as a win. Let's grab our Himiko, who I will now absolutely dominate pure fiction with. The expresses path bridges the stars as if it were a string of shimmering pearls. Absolutely, my queen. Uh, and then, of course, name of the game, which we still have to figure out some relics. That'll come later. I really need to get through the story because I need mats to deal with Gallic. It's a whole thing. Anyway. Anyway. It's been real. To cross the same river twice. Hardly a hardship. And now we play on easy mode for the rest of our lives. Done. Done. Uh, as you know, I am I allow myself to splurge uh, once per main patch. Uh, so 2.0 has come and gone. <laughs> uh, but hey, you know, I think it's worth, and I'm going to enjoy the heck out of it, and I'm excited about it. Uh, now I just need to build up Gallagher, who I realized I have, like, nothing. Because these are all new materials. Uh, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to end this video. And I'm going to go handle all of the uh, story stuff that I have to figure out. And I will... I probably can't bring her because I don't have a relic. I have so much grinding to do. More streams to come. Thank you for watching. And I will see you in the next one. Chad, it's easy. The thing about it is, it's easy. If you if you warp from the right location, it's just easier that way. You know what I mean? It's just easier that way. Is the thing about it. What are those guys? Can I just bring Acheron? Like, is that a terrible idea? Is that terrible? What if I brought Acheron here instead? Our paths cross once more. Ready for another dance, Memo Keeper? She's referencing the trailer? Oh my god, that's incredible. That's actually incredible. I actually love that. Dude, that's so sick. I don't have a light cone on top. What the heck? What the heckin' dog, brother? Uh, what does this do? Where's basic attack and skill by an extra? Uh, what's, what's maybe good on here? That's Dr. Ratio. Probably gonna have to keep that. Uh,
to use that. I don't know if that's good, but... Sure. And we have no relics. Now we do. Poggers. Dream four. The gleam of old tale. Hell yeah. God, that's so sick, dude. Oops, all better. Alright. Okay. Alright. Uh I don't think we have a new location. But uh We'll bring Topaz just in case, you know. Just in case we need to. What's up, Elizabeth? How we doing? How's it going? Uh, where am I headed? Yep. Gotta do that thing. Kind of forgot about that. Um. All right. We have not started 2.1. I literally just got my E6 Acheron, and now we're 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 vibing. And I am done splurging. Because frankly, I just found out how much my taxes are this year, and uh, we are going to be pushing memberships. Let me tell you. Nice. Bro, it's so sick. Okay. Okay, nope. Leave me alone. Alright, we're, we're vibing. We're just chilling. We're just chilling. Yeah, it turns out I was I was wishing from the wrong spot. What are you guys doing over here? What, what, wait, 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 wait. What are you guys doing here? They shouldn't be here, right? That seems... Incorrect. No? Well, let me... Let me hover, like, right here. We'll just see if this... I don't want to... I don't want to block any X or anything, either. I... The one thing I dislike about the Star Rail UI... Is that there's legitimately no good place to put a camera when you're streaming it. Like, there's just not. I was unable to eliminate the obsession. Wesley. Why does that name sound familiar? Why does that name sound familiar? When does the Fae trailer drop? Maddie, when do you think it drops? Out of curiosity. When do you think it's going to hit? Because I don't even know if it's tonight. Keep it a buck. When do you think it drops? 11 p.m.? There you go. There's an East Coaster. Like myself. No choice in the matter, eh? Hmm. Interesting. This is not what I need to be doing right now. But at the same time, if I don't interact with it, I'm going to forget about it. That was dumb. No, it wasn't.
I never know what time, uh, you know, time zones and such. If it's even tonight. Probably tonight. But it's 11 p.m. for me, too. Yeah. Got it. I often find, uh, and this is just commentary on uh, Maddie's question in general. I often find that sometimes uh, in like a live stream or something, people don't know how to like introduce that they're there. Uh, and so sometimes they'll just ask a question, like even if they know the answer to it, uh, as a as a means to just like open communication even. Uh, and so what I used to do was just answer stuff in the past. But now, now I'm taking a different approach and like engaging in the conversation rather than just giving like a direct response. You know what I mean? Because I feel like that gets us talking more. Uh, and I think at the end of the day, that's kind of the goal, right? Is to just have open conversation more. You know what I mean? Oh, I thought that was going to do something. I thought I was going to do a thing, dude. I'm in New York. Yeah, that's East Coast. We're East Coast. We have the worst time zone, by the way. <laughs> Oblivion and I discussed this last night. We have East Coast is literally the worst time zone for, like, everything. Hello. Oh, friend. Don't call My me friend. Expression wasn't much better than yours when I first saw this. Oh, right. Your eyes Robin's dead. You. It's her. Mm. The famous singer, Robin. Yeah. She's super deadsy. First of all, can I just say that this had nothing to do with me? I'm just an unlucky bystander here. I don't believe that. The family can testify for me. To be clear. If you don't believe me, just ask anyone in the Bloodhound family. They hate me, and they hate the IPC, so they'd never lie. Fitting that we have Topaz with us. This is not where the crime happened. Honestly. What I showed you was a memory. The most basic light cone manifesting tech. Uh-huh. Authorized by the Garden of Recollection and owned by the IPC. Uh-huh. Did you really think the Galaxy Rangers were outsiders this whole time? <sighs> Panicone has no. made a solemn commitment to protect the safety of anyone inside a family dream. Any person in distress will be forcibly awakened and safely returned to reality. Okay. What gives them the confidence to make such conclusive statements? Because behind this promise is the harmony. The it took six out? Dude, that's crazy. To construct an unbreakable defensive line. Liam did this in like breaking through this line of defense to create death in 90 case. minutes last night. <laughs> Not even a memo keeper could do So I can't finish this in the next hour and a half. Who could have done it, friend? That could be the problematic. Is her, the girl who calls herself a Galaxy Ranger. An imposter, an unsought guest, an emanator. Hey, Rochelle. Identity. Did I say that right, Rochelle? Is that right? Did I say your name right? Let me know. Well, Let me know if I'm wrong. Foregone conclusion. And wrong. I hope all your adventuring dreams come true. Staring right at her. Who will be the next to die? I believe in you. Uh. 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 It probably doesn't matter. It's fine. Listen to your gut. Building trust always takes time. And I'm willing to wait. We don't know if Aventurine is a troublemaker. Or if he's just misunderstood. That's the thing about him. I'm not sure myself. Frankly. You don't get stuck on the wrong side. If I were you, I'd keep my distance from Akron. 
After all, any schemes out in the open are always going to be better than a monster in the shadows. Ooh. Right? Who's to say there isn't an even deeper conspiracy? My queen! The surface. Okay, full disclosure. Keeper, We're gonna E6 Black Swan because I love her. And I think her job and her lore is like super cool. This memory is a real one. And there's no sign of any distortion grafting on. Uh -huh. The IPC is not the garden. And there are real limits to what they can actually do. But you know all this. Dude, memo keepers so just seem like so... The thing is... I want to like strong to team up with the Astral Express. I told you I'm just not interested in scrambling for the legacy. I just came to Pentagon. She literally put Sampo and Sparkle in a in a daze and just walked out. You catch my drift. That's crazy. Ownership of this. She's so cool. Prison. This has all become about I was so afraid that Akron was going to kill her. PC has tried sitting down for negotiations. Oh, we're talking about Stellarons now. Okay. Take our calls. Okay. You have no idea how difficult these people are to deal with. Put it this way. They've hushed up the existence of death before, so they can definitely cover up any news about Robin's death. It'll just quietly float off like a bubble and pop. But ooh. Nobody pop. ever being the wiser. That was a good well, that's pop. Not fair, right? So then, friend. I friend. Know. You see what I mean? It's the way he like elongates words. Like it just it it bothers me. Uh. What kind of help? But only one goal. The family's front door is like a high wall. And to tear the whole thing down, I'll have to dig out a few chunks first. Sure. Once I find a weak point, the IPC will have plenty of means. Okay. Now we have our chance. So long as we can get to the truth behind her death, we can have... Why is it yellow? <laughs> While also gaining a valuable bargaining chip for bringing the family to the table. Truly a once-in-a-blue-moon opportunity. Dude, the red and yellow text bothers me. Precisely for this very moment. I also learned we missed an opportunity to get a secret ending in the last story. So they'll be doing everything they can to stop it. Which is a bummer. Evidently, you can just leave. But I trust that there are still a few factions that remain exceptions. And then it gives you like a fake ending. The reputation similar to 1.0 precedes you. And the harmony will give you the fairest of appraisals. You get to find out really what happened and seek justice. And I get to put it toward completing my mission for the IPC. It's what you call a win-win situation. Is this... Is this Topaz's boss that she talked to at the end of the, the Bellabog restoration arc? If I remember that. I'm trying to remember if that was him. But don't worry, just head back and talk things over with your companions. That navigator is really smart. She must understand the value of this deal. Himiko is very smart. Here's my contact details. If you come to any conclusions, call me. Oh, and take this. A thorough investigation can always use a little more funding. Don't mention it. He's bribing me. So long, friend. I really am looking forward to uncovering the truth about death with everyone. He's bribing me. A venturing just sauntered off. <laughs> sauntered. He really doesn't mean to force it, but something still seems off. It does seem off. Wise. Now, what are your plans? I don't know. Please Black tell me. Swan. What is she thinking? Dude, she's so pretty. It's unfair how pretty she is. Animated characters shouldn't be that pretty. You know what I mean? Tea table. Oh, this is a thing. Oh, 
Blank will tear us to shreds. Bro, did I miss that from like an entire patch ago? That's wild. Okay. On the surface, this doesn't look like a bad deal for you. But Aventurine is a shrewd merchant whose scheme won't just be as simple as it appears to be. He doesn't know about Miss Firefly yet. But judging by your reaction, he may have noticed something going on and deliberately shifted topics to the truth of death to try and pull you in line with his way of thinking. That's quick thinking and very sound logic. Aventurine is no fool. And working with him definitely has its dangers. Uh... The most baller option. Leaving it up to fate. That's just how that gambler thinks. Damn it! Anyway, be careful out there. <laughs> There's more than one way to blaze a trail. True! In a dark forest beset by wolves, ensuring your own escape to safety should be your primary concern. She is so right. As for the other questions... Uh-huh. I'm not sure the two cases were committed by the same culprit, but that massive wound looked like its wind flayed. Hey, babe. You've all hey. witnessed it in action before. Hey, you. Plus, it seems unlikely Jenna brought me water. Entity is loose in the dreamscape. Ugh. Sorry, I can't answer that question. Did you need something? That ranger well, is shrouded in history. Okay. That's I'm fine. afraid no one is capable of providing an answer. But without a doubt, she is the most special guest at this banquet. It's like Aventurine said just then. It's best to keep your distance from her. We don't have to, though. That's just a guideline. Two victims appearing one after the other in a very short time span. In and of itself, that's very unusual. Mm -hmm. Two possibilities. The collapse of Panacone's dreamscape has started speeding up. Making death extremely agitated and weakening the family's Ugh. protections. Or, everything has been planned out and executed by someone. If someone has chosen these victims deliberately, first a smuggler, then a family celebrity. No, I'm right, chat. No, I got it. This murderer's motives are worth thoroughly chewing over. I don't have any more questions. We're chill. No. It's all happened so quickly. I can only make conjecture. After leaving here, go have a chat with your companions. Uh huh. I hope you can clarify the source of this confusion. Uh huh. Welt will tell us what to do because Welt's the goat. Okay. Come this way. It's a short walk. Don't get lost. Oh, also, I found all the birds. In case anybody was wondering. I found them birds. Bro, how trippy is that? <laughs> how crazy is that, though? This way. This is where we part ways. All of this is like a nightmare. What? Unfortunately, the remembrance doesn't lie. What we just saw... You liked to boost the stream? Character. Thank you, Daniel. And it won't fade from our minds just because... I just found out what I have to pay the government in taxes, oh, so I appreciate you boosting the stream. Afraid. We all walk through this world... That's very dope and cool of you. ...different lengths. And ultimately, all we leave behind are precious memories. Memories. That's all we got. Hold on just a sec. Mm-hmm. There you go. A small parting gift. 
If one day you unfortunately fall into the deep waters of the memory foam and there's no memo keeper to join you, hopefully it can guide you on my behalf. I also pay great attention to the ways of the world. Just think of this as an apology from me for hiding something from you. Ah, uh, we're, we're chill. Then, I've something private to take care of regarding that galaxy ranger. Oh god, that's Let's the dance video. Then, shall we? Oh god. What fascinating memories will you bring for me next time we meet? I sincerely look forward to them. Dude, she's gonna kill you. Hello. Yeah, bring down Hunk. Why why don't we have everyone, honestly? Hello. It's me. I'm here. Eh, Firefly and I weren't that close, so it's chill. No big deal. The clocky statue. A family rep. Is Himago okay? Probably not. What's that? Can I look at it? I want to. I want to see what it is. No. Okay. I just can't. All right. Fair enough. Uh, let me. Let me. Bump volume just a minute. There we go. We'll go six. In me. Yeah. I guess. It's been real. <laughs> Hell yeah. Clocky statue! Oh my god, dude, we can get more rewards. I think. Trash can. Clocky statue. Never mind. We can't raise the clocky statue. Much has happened. Sag. I should take a moment to gather my thoughts and wait for everyone to arrive. Nah, it's chill. The thing I don't think I understand is how you can be in the real world and the dream world and text people from your phone between the two. Better unsheath that blade now, Ranger. Do you still dream, Hunter? Uh, uh. Of those slain by your hand? <sighs> so that's Firefly, right? Sam is actually Firefly. The Duke! It appears the outcome has already been determined. Oh no. You're still alive, as are you. You still have room to make a choice. Leave the music box behind, and then go. The bloody trail of the destruction leaves no room for hesitation. Oh. The Taurus Fire Demon. Even if you sacrifice your life for that realm, you won't get special treatment. Ranger, don't tread the narrow path of the hunt. You could never understand. No, she doesn't. She's in the hilly. Right? In fire. They spread, burn, and destroy until all the 
kindling has burned out and we leave only ashes on the ground. That's crazy. Burning forms the entire life of a fire. From the beginning to the end. We are born to die just to put into practice a profile of another universal truth. Oh. Yeah, he loves the destruction. Your companions don't seem to think so. They fight for your chance at survival. Like a lot. They are my children, and just as I was, they are flames that have yet to burn my heart. They're still young, I don't fear death. But my flames are feet. And time is running out. Can you see the planet of festivities in the distance? I plan to bring purgatory with me there. And before that, I must surpass you. That's not going to happen, though. Why? Because on the path they have. said the word uh oh you cannot hide your true identity draw that sword for we shall indeed remain here bound to fight a decisive battle to the death for I choose this that's bold that's a bold choose. Destruction is intense, but brief. To cravenly cling to life is to endure an endlessly prolonged existence. Oh, no. Even if the answer turns out to be your own destruction. I bet he'd like that, actually. What is important is not the answer, but that it exists. Justice you. Everything exists to be destroyed. Emanators are no different. I told you we'd be down for that. Just as even sweet dreams may be born of the void, the so-called impossible is merely something that has yet to happen. <sighs> this Duke Inferno guy is kind of spitting okay. truth. I accept. You know what I mean? May this flame illuminate the farthest reaches of your bottomless dream. A bottomless dream. Yes, that's right. But you've made one small mistake. This blade remains in its scabbard not out of pity or scorn. It's a personal secret that I don't want to disclose, but... Perhaps out of reciprocity. Oh no. Oh no. I'll reveal the truth to you. Oh no. The hunt is not the path I truly follow. Oh no. May death be the end of your boundless dream. Guiding you back to the waking world. I still see them in my dreams. Hold it. Your time hasn't come yet. Oh. My time. I've seen many clever disguises that can conceal appearances. They can never cover up who a person really is. And you're no different. Yeah, so it's Firefly. You had no desire to kill the Trailblazer. You only did what you did to drive me and the memo keeper away, but why? Because she's Firefly. Or he's Firefly. <sighs> they are Firefly. Did Destiny slave 
make you do it. You know, Elio. I thought this is just the kind of thing that'd get written into your script. My script has always been brief. Other than that, anything beyond that is unnecessary. Hmm. He knows my nature. There is but a single destiny from which no one can escape. And until then, I hold the privilege of choice. However, you appear to be ignorant of this. So it's time for me to inquire. Who exactly are you? Not your enemy, perhaps. That's good. That's not what I asked. Oh. I don't deserve your curiosity. Loners wandering the cosmos always have their secrets. Take me. I'm wanted by the IPC, so it's little wonder that I know something about the Stellaron Hunters. That's all. Oh. Maybe I can help. What? Yo, reason? why does Sam have the Triforce? I tend to forget things. On the armor. Which is why... Did y'all see that? Rather than memories, I'm accustomed to using my emotions to capture what I normally wouldn't otherwise. So... I know who is inside that cold armor. Yeah, it's Firefly. <laughs> How about it? Ready to take off that armor and sit down for a talk? It's not yet time. I don't need help, but I can give you a suggestion that would make things better for you and me. It's 100% Firefly. If your goal is the Watchmaker's legacy... I've been telling Liam this for like weeks. The family. He's gonna Not hate that I'm right. Are they covering up the existence of death? But they're burying the past and the truth about what happens inside the dream. Oh. Already on it. And the Astral Express is no enemy of yours. That's nice. I know that. I just never expected to hear you say it. What's next then? The Trailblazer's been taken by Black Swan. Shall you go look for him? No need for that. Oh. No harm in mentioning that Elio's only given me one instruction. Get all of the Astral Express to track down the Grand Legacy. Including Don Hunt. I tried settling this in an easier and well and more direct way. But as you can see, here I am confronting you. I failed. Can't ever go against the script. The so-called impossible is merely something that has yet to happen. That's true. That's it. Before we split, can I ask you one more thing? Sure. Is there anything else in your script about me? I'd like to know what kind of footnote I get to leave in that future foreseen by... It's red! Unfortunately, not a thing came up. Oh. I knew it. Hang on. I... Don't. Don't. What? Your first question was... Do you still have dreams about everyone who died because of you? Oh. I don't. Never have. I was born without the ability to dream. Yeah, I think the red text is is the the Oni Acheron. Harsh reality. And then the yellow is her. A little light and to burn to keep. But then there was also bold burning that Duke Inferno had. I really envy you. 
Why does Sam sound like I'm gonna cry? Is that so? Bro, come on. Then you're already living in the waking world. Bro. Okay. Oh, we back. We're here. Crushing it. Heard about Miss Firefly from Black Swan. But we never expected Miss Robin to die. Oh, I'm sorry, but I couldn't be with you then. It's okay. She'll be back in 2.3 or 2.2. 2.2? 2.2. Bubble up from the dreamscape. Just like that mental keeper said. And we believe everything Stay she strong, says. strong, everyone. We can still do what we can for them. Starting with finding the murderer. Mm -hmm. Let's recap everything then. The trailblazer just reminded me of something. March, do you remember what that family rep who negotiated with us said? Uh, indeed we trust that the Nameless has nothing to do with this. And we also beg each of you to help assist the family in verifying the identity of the deceased. That's how it was put, in reference to Miss Firefly. Looking back, he seemed a little evasive at the time. And he also failed to mention anything about the earlier murder, too. The family's planning on covering up all news about Miss Robin's death. If news gets out... Panacone is going to turn into a bloodbath. But the murder that followed closely after was obviously beyond their anticipation. The family had to try and turn things to their advantage by bringing... Wait, Welts in the dream the world now? The this Charlie just... I just registered this. They must be snowed under. It may also be that Miss Firefly's murder had so many witnesses that it couldn't be covered up. He was back topside, to make sure everybody was okay. More people on the scene to control the situation. After all, the nature of the two murders is fundamentally different. The family's first protective measure should be against malicious actors among the guests, such as that IPC envoy. Uh. We saw Robin die or be dead in the dream world. So I think she's still good topside. Indeed. He was particularly concerned about that galaxy ring. I think we're all particularly concerned about Are that galaxy. Are we ring. missing the forest for the trees here? I always thought that Aventurine's reasons for accusing Miss Acheron were highly subtle. Can we believe him? At this point, I'm afraid the only ones we can trust are ourselves. If that. Look, let's try to gather intel first and then list all the possible outcomes we can. Then we go through them, eliminating contradictions one by one. Love that. The fewer facts remaining, the closer we are to the truth. Dude. I've still got this sense of... Well, it's always got us. It's like we're stuck in a whirlpool spinning around that legacy even after everything that's happened why is it yellow uh, this time we're playing the role of a real detective but before we start what are we going to say to the family and adventuring as i see things the family harbors no ill will towards the astral express if they didn't trust the crew they wouldn't have casually commissioned outsiders to investigate a case that's in all likelihood a scandal uh-huh Plus, this is the family's turf. Uh -huh. Teaming up with them should make things easier for us in the future. Uh, As for that adventurine. But, well, we I also really know. love Acheron. He's and Black Swan. Black. He deliberately slow played his hand during negotiations while running circles around us all the while. He appealed convincingly to both reason and emotion. It wasn't forced, but... The intent was obvious. Still, it's good to have contacts among all this uncertainty. Adventurine showed his skills, and as far as our interests are aligned, he can become a reliable ally. We also need to keep a certain distance from the family. Never let them get too close. Teaming up with the IPC helps balance that out. If either side makes a move, 
we have the option to pull out. So you suggest accepting a Venturine's proposal to team up? Yes. It's risky, but we can only wait until both sides have played their cards before making any further judgments. I don't know if I like this. I get why, but there's a whole lot of bad guys and girls around here. And I'm worried about getting stabbed in the back. He's been bullied a few times now, and I can't stand it anymore. Bully is a strong word. <laughs> you... No, I can't accept this. <laughs> it's fine. We get bullied. It happens. Just let me keep an eye on him. If that doesn't work, we can just turn the tables and use him instead. Then could you please reply to Aventurine? Everyone... Take this time to put together your thoughts. I still don't like this. That's it. <laughs> Dude, that worked? Bro. Bro. We're actually scamming. That's hilarious. <laughs> Looks like a venturing. <laughs> We actually got 200,000 credits on screen. That's actually funny. Oh my god. Bro, that's wild. Checked off the list. This is why, chat, you always ask for more money. In negotiation. Avengerine's <laughs> goal great. is to try and recapture Penacony for IPC. Uh-huh. To do this, he'll have to bring down the family in its entirety to create a big enough chance. True. The existence of death will be covered up by the family. So how does he plan on taking them down? It's got to be something important enough that everyone will notice. But it also can't be anything too out in the open. Aventurine has devoted considerable attention to her, but this Galaxy Ranger, we know hardly anything about her and can't rush to any conclusions. True. An attack on the hotel guests? Unlikely. Penacone's guests include quite a few bigwigs known throughout the whole cosmos. People who not even the IPC would dare take lightly. Aventurine is a shrewd merchant, and there's no way he doesn't know that. He's definitely going for the family. True. And it's just a matter of how. The harmony is strong in Penacony, and almost impossible to take on head to head. The fact that the IPC dispatched Aventurine shows that they do not intend to simply play by the book here. Hmm, I was also considering this possibility. Especially because he respects you so much and has sought you out before a few times. That's true, Perhaps he has done that. He's also unsure of your intentions and is probing you. I'm just speculating. In any case, we have to be careful when handling a Venturine. He's skilled at reading people and discerning the right moment to strike. Also... He's clearly a born gambler if he's willing to go all in to win. I feel like that doesn't really make as big an impact, to be honest. Well! Aventurine said something that concerns me. Yeah. He accused that Galaxy Ranger of killing Robin without any evidence whatsoever, but said nothing about her connection to that memory zone meme or why he was stalking you. It was a groundless accusation. True. Which only serves to make him seem more suspicious. True. Maybe Adventurine's goal was 
never to gain our trust. Maybe he wanted to foster a feeling of enmity towards Acheron and make the situation more volatile. Two birds, one stone. We love Acheron. However, I asked Don Hung back on the Express to confirm that story about the Annihilation Gang and the lost messages. It wasn't something that Aventurine made up out of thin air. You've met her many times now. What's your impression of Miss Acheron? Uh... Both are correct. Technically also correct. I'm in the same as Sirius. What? That fits the stereotype of a galaxy ranger to a T. They're eccentric, unpredictable, and dude, I hate the red text so much. No wonder she's a suspect. I hate the red text so much, dude. It freaks me out every time. I love Clocky too. All right, March. I hope it's not too soon to bring it up, but I feel like Miss Robin isn't actually dead. Nah, probably not. But that she's still alive and well. For sure. Somewhere. But everything's just some horrible prank. Probably. Because aren't we supposed to be inside a dream? True. How could someone die in a beautiful dreamscape like this? Also true. Shouldn't only good things happen here? Mm-hmm. Uh, whenever I see the Grand Theater, I just can't stop all these thoughts from flooding my head. No, no. After all, they've brought everyone this sleepy dreamscape, which everyone loves. I just feel like I'm starting to understand them less and less. Everyone still has it is a complicated. time out there on the streets. Nobody knows what's happened. It's all so unreal. As if Firefly, Miss Robin, and us. We're all outsiders from another world. Aw, what a mess. I really want a nice cool drink of soda to help me calm down. That's not gonna help you calm down. But... Looks like Adventurine doesn't need anything else. Let's turn our attention to the family's assignment for now. Himako, what do you think? Among our current clues, the two murders that he witnessed are the most directly connected. I suggest starting here. One thing I'm curious about is, if a person dies in a dream, what happens to them in real life? Seeing as we're at the family's behest, why not pop back out to reality and verify Miss Firefly's situation back at the hotel? Perhaps we could also make a few inquiries about her while out there. How about we split off into two groups? There are still some things worth Please send me with Welt or Himiko. The dreamscape. I'll investigate those and we can link up again later. Please. Worth focusing on. Oh. No problem. I'll leave it to you then. Uh huh? Aww. Why are we saying it like that? To see Himiko and Mr. Yang go out on a mission together. Oh well. Take care then, Mr. Yang. <laughs> I will. Keep in touch. Hmm. Honored guest, uh, could you come out for a second? Oh, God. Oh, no. He knows her. I'd be embarrassed, too, being stared at like that. Uh, forgive me. Uh, my name is Welt Yang. I'm one of the crew members on the Astral Express. I believe you've met my colleagues. Welt. Is there something about my name? I know you. First, don't you want to know my name? 
He knows it. already do, Miss Acheron. You're a prominent figure in Panacone. What are they saying about me? Some claim that you're the real culprit behind these murders. That the Annihilation Gang's tragic fate at the banquet was a result of your blade. And that you're now attempting to unleash another bloodbath on Panacone. Bro. The Annihilation Gang. Ifrit of Everflame Mansion. I feel like there's so much weight behind this meeting. Tragic fate. That duke turned his dying body to flames and sacrificed his life as martyr. He was a determined and heroic past writer. Not even a villain should be disparaged like this. And what's more, there were plenty of suspects invited. Did they really think that a blade is more dangerous than a black hole? I'm fairly confident they know each other. Intuition. Not even the family managed to point out. Canonically, Welt is the only Honkai Impact character so to come over from no, uh, Two Star Rail. Everyone else has been like a reincarnation or something like that. As a potential threat, your knowledge of us has reached uncomfortable depths. Oh no. Reveal your true identity and intentions. Otherwise, brace yourself for gravitational disintegration. That shouldn't be necessary. But if it makes the nameless feel less defensive, I'll be happy to abide. Believe it or not, Galaxy Ranger, Acheron. Those are the names I go by to this very day. My trip to Panacone is solely to fulfill an old, final request. Oh no. I'm here for the Watchmaker's legacy. Yellow! And that's it. I think I've been honest enough. Still unwilling to reveal your true identity? It's not that I don't want to. It's just that I can't. I've come so far, and I can't sum up all of that in just a few words. Everyone has their own unspeakable power. Secrets that they don't want to be revealed. And I won't be asking any more questions, such as why the Astral Express is roaming around the cosmos with a Stellaron. That's me, or er, us, Tenny. But that was bold. Is he okay? That memo keeper didn't do anything, right? He's fine. Let's stick with the topic. Gaining my trust all depends on how much you're willing to reveal. I've run around many different Panacone dreamscapes just to try and find that legacy. And during this period, I came into contact with quite a few guests. In the process, I gradually came to realize the secret of Panacone may be closely related to the Trailblaze. That's why I've come to ask for your help. Oh? I don't have enough proof yet, but I'd like to speculate something. The source of all tragedy lies within the family. Oh. If you could trust me, we could find the proof to support this claim together. Mr. Yang, I think you've come to the same conclusion, haven't you? Let's leave it at that. For now, I'll choose to believe that you bear no hostility. Share your findings with me and me alone. I don't want vague conjecture to interfere with other people's judgments before we find solid proof. Mm -hmm. Bro, Welt is so anyway, cool. Would you like something to drink? Yeah. Before we go, how about two cups of wake the heck up? Yeah. No. Four cups. Four. Because the conversation coming up will last forever. Why was the drink name bold? That doesn't seem important. Uh-oh. I've been watching her closely for a while now, and the first invitation was in the banquet hall of the hotel. She just sat in one corner, keeping silent, chugging down a couple cups of wake the heck up. I told her it's a pungent, bitter beverage, not the taste of sweet dreams, only for people allergic to soul glad. And she said... Really? I don't taste any difference at all between them. The 
The guest rooms are charmingly minimalist. An aesthetic you share, Miss Acheron. It's a cinch, this music box. The invitation received by the Annihilation Gang. There are latent memories that linger on it yet. Oh, God. You see, memories of you are not yours alone. They travel in other people, other things. I know much, and I can predict even more. Okay. With some help, the dead can be made to speak. The Annihilation Gang, that band of desperados who all disappeared after meeting you, what exactly happened to them? Well, let me reveal all. Oh. Gradation 12. Dream state 12. Father, I dedicate this to you. There it is. It's hazy, but it's Ifrit's voice. The other one is probably his progeny. This is the residual memory from when the invitation was first delivered. They were abruptly interrupted. Then, what happened next is... A lot of death. I really dislike what they're blanking out because I can't follow that. Mansion has set out on a journey. Those poor people, they have no idea what lies in wait ahead of them. Memory recovery is going well, but slowly. She'll be here soon, and time is short. There's nobody else here, so there's no need to be delicate. In fact, I think I'd better go all out. What does that even look like? What happened? The memory after that is blank. How is that possible? This music box fell into Acheron's hands and she brought it to Panacone. That's a fact, and that's how it should have gone. But along the way, It's like it's been erased. Who's done this? A red Acheron. Probably. Who are you? Who are you? It's... No. Is this not a memory? Oh. A memo keeper. Do you serve the Garden of Recollection? For the cremators, my name is Constance. A pleasure to meet you. We Wait. were supposed to meet in Penagoni and spend it. <laughs> Constance is one of the uh, Duke Inferno kid peoples, right? But that seems unrealistic. Dawn is not welcome on the banquet star, and I don't need a coming of age ceremony. And you. I know what you're looking for. Want her secret? I can give it to you, and then you can enjoy the banquet for me. I wish you unforgettable memories. Oh, hmm. a phone. Wanna listen in? We're swishing POV. A few days ago, the 
IPC made an announcement. Bruh. Under the watchful guidance of the Marketing Development Department and in accordance with the Interstellar Peace Charter, the independent Sigonian sovereignty has hereby been established and shall take a legislative seat at the Interstellar Congress. The formation of the Sigonian sovereignty is of great historical significance to the Sigonia system. This move puts an end to the planet's long and bloody history, turning the sensational Kataka Avgen extinction event into a distant memory. Sigonia 4 okay. is located in an unclaimed zone at the intersection of the Denise, Prusian, and Dorno star clusters. The planet's surface environment is known for being extremely harsh, constantly faced with the threat of impact from small-scale celestial objects. This is why very few intelligent species have made this planet their home, dividing themselves into several tribes to eke out nomad lifestyles as they struggle to survive the arid desert wilderness. They have developed their own folk beliefs that are independent of the Eon belief system. Oh. Sigonia. Sigonia. Ravenous eye of the storm, spurned by all the gods. Land of rock, but not water. Lightning. Who is this? The sword of bitterness. Oh, Gyaspora Tricot, if thou can hear me, please open up thy three eyes and gaze upon this child. Why do I feel like this is a play? When you took his father, my child was still sleeping in my belly. And where my husband went, I too soon must go. Oh. I don't ask for a peaceful death. Just for you to tell me. Does the baby swaddle sweetly asleep? Does he dream of his mother's heartbeat and the sound of falling rain? Please tell me whether this life is all just a fleeting dream. Otherwise, why would this child be born to face impending death? Mommy! 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 The rain! It's raining! Raining. Is that the baby talking? Raining. It is raining. It's true. Those outworlders weren't lying to us. They really did summon the rain. Mommy, we can leave here. We can go back home. Back home. Diathra Triclot, <laughs> you came. <laughs> Do you hear that? <gasps> Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Darling, I'm supposed to be confused, right? Listen. This is the sound of rain. <laughs> On the day you were born. The sky also sent down a gift like this from Gyathra. <laughs> Such a lucky child. Such a blessed child. Just like your name. A gift from them to Avgen. Oh, is that a venturing? May 
the goddess Gyathra close her eyes three times. Keep your blood eternally pulsing. Let your journey be forever peaceful and your schemes forever concealed. Yeah, that last one was a little weird. Welcome to the sad world, Kakavasha. Kakavasha. That's 100% adventuring, right? <sighs> Time to wake up, gambler. <laughs> oh, heavens. <laughs> I must have drunk too much soul glad. I uh, didn't expect you to be back so soon. How is it? Find anything? Just as you guessed. Nobody outside knows about Robin's death. There aren't even baseless conspiracy theories. They're still streaming the rehearsal for her ceremony. Using a stand-in, I guess. They must be dreaming. Of course. <laughs> Who could imagine that death would actually descend upon the idyllic dream created by the family? <laughs> Let alone that the victim would be the female lead of the Charmony Festival. To be honest with you, I didn't believe it. I even tested it a few times myself. Until I discovered that I couldn't actually die. <laughs> Whenever there's any danger, I'm forced to wake by the dream pool and it's all as if everything were just a nightmare. And that's why I'm convinced that there are a few big secrets lurking behind the scenes. Then you must have heard about the Memory Zone meme. When I graciously deigned to establish connections with the Oak family on your behalf, they were quite in a pitiful state of disarray. Besides Robin, there was... another body. I don't know the exact details, just that it was... a stowaway. Two murder cases? <laughs> I told you something seemed off about the Nameless. Uh, he must have come across the other one. <laughs> this murderer is a psycho. But I have to admit, the case should be easy to crack. Uh, we can leverage the family's malfeasance and let the IPC use this as a reason to intervene. Uh, it's just that their trickery runs deeper than I thought. Robin's stand-in was all ready to go. <sighs> These two murders are definitely getting hushed up. Uh, what should we do? Let me think. Wait. It's too rare an opportunity to miss out on. Did the family intentionally hire Sparkle to impersonate Robin? Incredible gambler. Have you already exhausted your limited repertoire of tricks so soon? Oh, there are plenty of chips, but it'd be best to choose carefully. The most straightforward has to be Robin. Remember? That masked fool once told me to find a mute as a friend. Rude. Robin is what she calls the mute. She has lost her voice, and while most people can't pick up on it, you and I cannot mistake that sound. Not produced by any voice box, but rather by the resonance of the harmony. If that girl hadn't gone hoarse from singing practice, there'd only be one possibility. Something was up with the family. Or Robin herself. To get to the bottom of this, I tried every way I could to meet her. But she died. Right before my very eyes. Come again? A complete and utter loss. Incidentally, it seems to have resulted in your rather undignified arrival on the interrogation stand. There were eyewitnesses at the scene. And the family, in their graciousness, has tentatively accepted your alibi. However, for the foreseeable future, you shall, regrettably, find yourself under the vigilant watch of the hounds. Well, things aren't looking too optimistic, Doctor. Starting to break out in a cold sweat. D do you reckon... There's still any chance of a comeback, given how things are? A probability. Yes, it exists, but it verges on the infant. Do not love Dr. Ratio. To phrase it in a matter more befitting the <laughs> vernacular of Penacony, you're dreaming. 
But if you simply can't control yourself and want to try your hand, then there just so happens to be a suitable candidate. Me! That man wants to see you again. Oh. Who? Me? Sunday. Oh. <sighs> Is this a public hearing or a private trial? If it were the former, it would hardly befit my stature to stoop to the role of a mere messenger. <sighs> Fine. <laughs> well, that's great. It's all great. You see, the dead can't talk, but the living can. Ratio, I'm convinced now that there must be something wrong inside the family. Oh, <laughs> just you wait and see. That man's sister has died. He can't sit on his hands. Well, without any further ado, let's set off. Lead the way. The show is about to begin. We're Area. here. The Dewlight Pavilion is the Oak family's fortress and a place where heads of the families meet to discuss great plans for Panacone. The fortress? <laughs> oh, I like this metaphor. I see a bird. I've dealt with the warlords of the Amanica star system not long ago, and their synchronized orbital manner wasn't this heavily guarded. This mansion nominally belongs to Sunday and is very befitting of its owner. Without his express invitation, the likes of ordinary guests would never grace these grounds in their lifetimes. Look around while you still have this moment of freedom. Hey, Doc, whose side are you on anyway? Who's to say I won't sell you out? Good question. <laughs> we'll see. When we meet the authoritarian master of the Oak family, I'll pry an answer out of him. Follow me, and I'll bring you to his parlor. Hold your tongue, and let me deal with the members of the family. Oh, interesting. Okay, so we can change POV. Your call. What kind of dance do you want this time? I know I want that. Okay, that's pretty cool, though. That's pretty cool, though. You gotta admit, that's pretty fire. Hello. Hey, you two. That's a place of business. No entry. Shut up, kid. I was requested by Mr. Sunday to bring him the suspect. My name is Ratio. He should have mentioned it to you. Oh, I remember you. Veritas Ratio. Your punch virtual particle clock is impressive. Excuse me? Uh, the one on your head. Of course, it's nothing compared to my full pocket dimensional annihilating power armor of the mobile knight. What? Right. And as I mentioned, that fantasy raiment of yours doesn't exist. That's because you can't see it. Like I say, only family can see the glory of the mobile knight. Ugh, enough. Get going. Don't keep Mr. Sunday waiting. Oh my god, I hate this kid. <sighs> it seems like the idiocy index here is no better than it is out there. True king. <laughs> A dead end? Nah, puzzle. The door is shut tight. Looks like we're on our own. I mean, there isn't a door. How did you get in before? For security reasons, the family built the administrative site deep in the dreamscape, with the mechanisms hidden in these Nightingale statues. The direction of the statues can be controlled. 
on this previous occasion, an attendant named Kona had gone to the side room to verify something before setting the statues in the correct positions. Well, maybe we should do the same. Let's go and take a look. <laughs> of course, we can also use brute force. Naturally. <laughs> Hell yeah. Ooh, treasure. Treasure! Wait it. Stop. Bye, bird. Okay. Sorry. I remember that. All right. But we want to go that way, right? Guys. Oh, we can brute force it. I see. I see. So this is a means to obtain clues. Got it. But I could just brute force it. But I shouldn't do that, right? Did that not work? Oh no. Can I redo? Respectfully, can I redo? An elusive foretelling. Ill fate to send. Spend freely. Still waters of oblivion. Oh hell yeah. For the departed. It too shall fall. I underestimated you. All in. Eternal sleep is the dead return. Okay, that's kind of cool. Memories beneath the waters lies an endless abyss. <laughs> I hit the mark. <gasps> Another journey begins, destined for oblivion. What do you want to know? Ill fate descends. You chose the wrong echo. <laughs> ah. The dice have been bust. Or maybe I'll take it off. Watch your head. Destiny isn't chosen. Okay. Ill tidings manifest. I weep for the departed. We're in it. It too shall fall. God, we really need to get relics on her. All in. Free will, or was it fate? On the still waters of oblivion. I'll see you off. <laughs> Ill fate descends. Hedge your bets. Memories are beneath the waters lies an endless abyss. Familiar. <laughs> Watch your head. I mean, between him and Locha, we're basically unkillable. Another journey begins. Destined for oblivion. Ill tidings manner. Best. I weep for the departed. It too shall fall. Bro, we hit a 20k crit. That's wild. For how little so we're juiced. The cosmos is all about. Here, I'm gonna keep those. That's chill. Uh.
I supposed to? No. Okay. That was just a thing. Okay. No, I hit the wrong button. Ah. Eternal sleep. The dead return. That's super unfortunate. Ill fate descends. You chose the wrong end. <laughs> ah. Free will, or was it fate? On the still waters of oblivion. I weep for the departed. It too shall fall. There we go. Okay. Another blood debt repaid. Definitely hit the wrong button. No. Okay. Go in here. Dream forth, a gleam of old blade. There we go. Wasn't there a bird somewhere? Oh, he's over there. Trippy. Six nightingales facing Ugh. in different directions. An obvious hint. Okay. Uh, but are these nightingales? Probably. They are. What's wrong? How can nightingales be so huge? <laughs> they look more like torment eagles to me. A what? There are no eagles in the five families. Only nightingales. <sighs> Why am I wasting time with you on this? I feel like that's going to be important. Respectfully. Oh, never mind. Oh, I'm back. Oh, I'm back. Okay. He's good. My man's got to go this way. this way yep oh no okay so it's literally the opposite of what I have kinda I was facing the wrong direction. Oh, no. Oh, no. Speed run. There we go. Just as I thought. 
There's the correct answer. A truly miraculous discovery. Perhaps I should offer you the chance to join the Genius Society. Really? <laughs> well, I thought you'd given up on that already. I was being sarcastic. Can't you tell? No. Respectfully? No. No, I can't. I want to go through here, but I can't. Alright. It's 10.30. I gotta oh, keep an eye on the clock, too. <laughs> well, so much for Mr. Sunday's reserved and virtuous... Ah, oh, there's so many puzzles. Do you need me to remind you? We're in a dreamscape. No matter how grand the mansion looks, it'll not affect Penacone. True. Stop wasting your time nitpicking the family here. Okay. Yeah, you're right. The only way to destroy the family is death. <laughs> Sunday must have thought the same. Let's head down. Okay. Can't go over there. Dream four. A gleam of old flame. Nice. Yeah. Bro, this is so clutch. What up, clock friend? I will fix you! Crushed it. Like, actually crushed it. Space anchor. Where? Treasure. Ooh. Oh. Dream four. Respectfully, I'm out. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. That was crazy. All right. All right then. Uh oh, this space anchor. Uh. Hey, buddy. I found one of your bird friends, but I don't think I can get him yet. What's this way? Oh. I have to yoink. I can't just crush. Fair enough. I think there's treasure up here now. Ah. Oh, it's because it didn't have any surrounding pieces. That's why. I'm like, no, it definitely has to be a corner piece. Like, what are we doing here? 
Don't forget to let your friends in on the action. Dream four. The gleam of old flame. Tight. Ooh, what's in here? Spooky hallway. Okay, I don't think I'm supposed to be in here yet. So, and you will find. I'm gonna just dip for now, because we need to get through the story. And I'm getting distracted by shiny things, and I can't be doing that. All right, bird friends, let's go. Hold on. What's wrong? Are we heading the wrong way? No, but this door is locked. Oh, man. My friend? Did you really make an appointment with him? It's a trial. You got to prove your worth to Sunday before you can speak with him. If I'm not wrong, we need to find a way to open this door in the hall or this place will be our prison. Oh, an escape room. <laughs> My favorite. Get serious. I've no time for games. Let's head back. The hint is probably in that prominent sandpit. <laughs> wow. Oh, that's an enormous sandpit. I'd love to build a tall building for myself. Once I have enough savings. That's a sandpit? Oh, look. There's a noticeable gap in the model. Oop. There wasn't a gap before. That man must have done it intentionally. Oh, with your brilliant mind, you shouldn't have any trouble recalling what was here last time. Right, Doctor? Of Oop. course. Let's look around. When I see it, I will know it. Okay. Fine. Fine. Why do I feel that we're pursuing a degree in burglary now? Oh, I didn't even see that. That's crazy. Didn't even know the bird there. Ah, so we get to go up into the thing anyway. Okay. Yes, sir. I was going. I was. I was ahead of the game. You know what I mean? Found it. This is it. Oh, that. Okay. That's chill. I have no skill points. Oh, wait. I made a bunch of these. Hold up. Dream four. Yup. Yup. Ooh, treasure. Ah, right, there we go. Oop. Okay, never mind. Yoink. Yeah. Uh, we want to activate that so we can get back here. There we go. Now.
And of course, we gotta go back over here. Okay. Dream four. The gleam of old blades. Tight. God, that is expensive, though. Make a wish. Crushed. What's up, Liam? I underestimate it. Did you? Memories are beneath the waters lies an endless abyss. You chose the wrong enemy. <laughs> the dice have bust. Oh, we rolled. Take it all. All in. We rolled, all right. I weep for the departed. Now, if only I had relics. Uh, still that dude. It too shall fall. I hit the mark. Uh. Oh. Uh -oh. Or was it on the still waters of oblivion? Those things transforming are like kind of cool. I love just being able to use reuse older assets. Uh, probably just that. That's half the work. Justice for oblivion. Boop. Watch your head. Howie. Let's settle this. <laughs> No dirty tricks. Left. Eternal soul. The dead return. I hit the mark. Ah. Uh. <laughs> the dice have been cast. Yeah, it's fine. Bust. Or maybe I'll take it all. <laughs> all in. I weep for the departed. Bro, oh, she's so cool. It too shall fall. Destiny is apparent. Ill tidings manifest. Another journey be justice. Twenty seven K crit with like no art or no relics. That's that's wild. That's actually insane. Do not tell me I have to do that right now. I don't think that I do. That would be crazy if I had to do that right now. This is what exploring the cosmos is all about. Okay. I'm kind of, I'm, I'm into that, I think. Got him. And the nameplate reads Gulliver's Arch. <laughs> well, I'm amazed you can remember something this tiny. You know, this reminds me of a tunnel I once saw that could shrink people who pass through it. That's wild. If I were you, I would shut my mouth. It's wise to remain silent when you should. He's so mean. <laughs> He's so mean, though. Blah. 
Oh, this reminds me of one of those building toys. I mean, with the blocks. <laughs> I've never played with them before. I wonder if it's more interesting than stacking chips. Oh, look. The gap is closed. And it fits perfectly. <laughs> so, what's next? We're going inside the model. <laughs> oh, good heavens. D did I drink? Am I still in a dream? Indeed. Oh. Dude, he's giant. Huge. It's me! Down here! In the... the sand pit! Oh, actually, I think we could make this work for us. Just find a way to slip me into Sunday's collar, and I'll infiltrate the family just like that. <sighs> That's a terrible idea. Oh, fine. I was just kidding. Let's find a way to open the door. Bro, are you okay? Okay. I'm industrial bro. Okay. All right. Wait, is this a legit? That's a legit map? Bro, that's crazy. Okay. Yoink. Oh my god, there's so much stuff, dude. <laughs> this is weird. This is super weird. Oh my god. <laughs> what the heck? What the heck, dude? Dream four. Gleam of old blades. <laughs> what the heck? This is crazy. I never played Mile Trains. No. The thing I want most for Christmas, on God, is like a train set that goes around the uh, tree. It would be so sick. Uh, we'll take that. Bro, this is so cool. It's like a replica of uh, the Golden Hour thing. Dude, what are you doing up there, man? You can't be... <laughs> Yo, that guy's crazy. Uh, okay. We can crack this out real quick. Probably. Maybe? I don't think it's going to let me do this one. Oh, nope. yes. Yup. Yeller. Uh, yep. You. And then you. Boop. There were three dudes running into a corpse on the ground. <laughs> Wait, is that the three guys that were just walking in place before? Oh, that bird is big. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, yeah, yeah. These guys. Hot, 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 hot. <laughs> what is this, dude? This is crazy. Oh my god. 
No! Stop. Hello. I have my puzzle piece back. Welcome to the Golden Hour base model. Hello. I am an oak soldier. I will be here to guide you through the tour of the base model. Happy to be of service. I actually already looked around. Huh. And tell me about the tour. Hello. <laughs> Welcome to the Golden Hour base model. I am an oak soldier. I will be here to guide you through the tour of the base mo model. Half gen <laughs> aiding guide. Please wait patient. <laughs> the nearest check in spot. I'm just going to keep kicking them. Please look behind me. A capsule. Ma Machine model. Model. Uh, 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 uh. What's up with that? Now the family's <laughs> toys are trying to frame me? I didn't do it. That's crazy. Oh, capsule machine. Whoa, what the heck? So, I was right. These models have interiors that look exactly like the real buildings. Oh, he's the right there. Okay, oh, God. No lives in them. Bro. Funny that Sunday puts a miniature that makes him seem like a giant by comparison, right where he can see it first thing in the morning. Dude, that was insane. Insecure much? <laughs> that was insane. All right, let's get these last three pieces, and then I think it'll be trailer time. Or last oh, two one pieces. Of the fragments flew upstairs. I'll need to use the pinball machine to flick myself up there. No. But it's tough. Okay. We got it. <laughs> uh, Doc, I'll need your brain power again. There's no need to yell, I can hear you. The pinball machine must be hidden somewhere in the hall. Ugh. Wait here, and I'll be back in a minute. Oh. <sighs> Finally, a moment of peace. Oh, we're going this way now. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. I think I already cleared this out, though. Dream four. Oh. Clean of old toys. Right. I ran out. Heck. Birds! Pleasant moments of solitude are always fleeting. Okay. Finally, my pre-exploration finally came in handy. I love it when that works out. Oh, you're back. Just place it here. Thank you. Dude, he's giant. That's crazy. I'm ready.
Horatio, you should come in here and take a look. The view here is breathtaking. Bird. Bye, bird. Hey, bud. Okay. Last one. No. All done. Piece of cake. All right. Respectfully. Uh. We do be halfing to see a trailer here. Uh, so I will come back to this while I am getting the uh video rendered. And we can vibe for just a little bit longer. That sound good? Uh, swap over here. Take a looky. Here. Okay. Uh, let's grab you. You. We got it. Oh, Oblivion's not going to like that. Oblivion's not gonna like that. Uh, shoot. You know what? I don't have my prediction. I may have to add that in post. Because it's occurring to me now that I don't have it. Do I? Wait. Is that it? I think that's it. I think that's it, right? Yeah, I think that's it. Okay. Cool, 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 cool. Yeah, I think that's it. All right, that's chill. Uh, we got an error thing. And make sure the volume is right for this. Just bump that up a, a, just a smidgen. Okay. Hey, everybody, welcome back to the channel. We are doing a quick uh, Heroes trailer for Emblem Ike, evidently. Sorry, Oblivion. I told Oblivion that uh, it wasn't going to be Ike and it was going to be Silica. I'm so sorry. Uh, my chat's also here. Hi, chat. You can say hi. Uh, we can't see you, but we know uh, that you are here. So, shouts out to you all. Uh, anywho, I am going to kick this trailer off. Why, why do I look small? What's happening here? What's happening here? Why do I look small? Make me big. There we go. Okay, that's better. All right. All right. Let's watch. Let's see. Let's see what we got. It is Ike. Yeah, I glow and flow. And he is red. Interesting. Well, hmm. Okay. We're breaking trend with Camilla 
So that means, I think, that we're going to see Nino here. And then... What are they doing in Cuddleless? Oh, that's curious. Okay. Am I up? I do love that it's it's by uh Radiant Alencia. That's pretty tight, actually. Emblem Ragnal. Uh accelerated special trigger. Unit can counter attack regardless of Phyllis range. Sure. A start of combat begins their speed is greater than 25%, grants attack plus X to unit and inflicts attack minus X on foes. Uh, or on foe, X equals 25% of the foe's attack at start of combat. So you're doing a true debuff. Aren't all debuffs true? Anyway, point, whatever. Uh, minus 2, max 16, minimum 6, neutralizes penalties on unit, neutralizes effects that prevent units counterattacks, and neutralizes effects that inflict special cooldown charge minus X on unit during combat. Okay. Uh, probably the best Ragnall to date. For what that's worth. That's kind of hype. Uh, when special triggers, boost, by, boost damage by percentage of units attack equal to the number of times foe has attacked during this combat times 10 plus 40. Great ether. Uh, boost damage by percentage of units attack equal to the number of times foe has attacked during this combat times 10 plus 40. Interesting. Okay. Okay. Interesting. All right. So it gets stronger the more. I'm assuming you're going to have Ike tanking all those hits, right? Uh, so, in theory, as he takes more and more hits from the opponents, because he's obviously meant to be a tank, right? Uh, he's going to do more and more damage with Great Ether. That's kind of neat. If unit initiates combat, foe can counterattack before unit's first attack. If foe can perform a follow-up attack, foe can make a follow-up attack before unit's next attack during combat. Okay, so we got some Brave Ike stuff happening here. Some callbacks to that, I think. Uh, reduces damage from attacks by percentage equal to 40 minus the current special cooldown value times 10 during combat. Uh, but if unit receives consecutive attacks, reduces damage from foe's second attack onward by percentage of 70, minus current special cooldown count value times 10. Okay, so the closer you get to your special proccing, uh, the more reduction you get, I think, is how I'm reading that. Uh, if this special is triggered during combat, deals five damage to foes within three rows or three columns. Oh, it's AoE. That's a fun little nod, too, actually. That's really hype. Uh, on unit, inflict special cooldown count plus one. Cannot exceed the foes' maximum special cooldown on those foes. And restores XHP to unit after combat. Obviously, it's ether. We're going to have some kind of healing, right? Uh, within three rows or three columns centered on unit times five uh, plus ten. Max of 50. Okay. Okay. Uh, so far, he just seems really cool. Um, My yawn is because I'm tired, not because I'm enthused about like i actually had to get up at like 7 a.m and i streamed until like 2 a.m last night long story uh defense res finish four if unit is within three spaces of an ally uh seven defense res we know this deals plus five damage uh specials triggered before or during combat restore seven hp after we know all those things this is not new Lagoon's friend! Poggers! Okay. Inflicts attack minus 5 on foe during combat. If unit's max special cooldown count uh, value is greater than or equal to 3, and unit's attack can trigger unit special, 
or if those attack can trigger unit special reduces damage of reducing the percentage of units non-special reduced damage by X skills by 50%, reduces damage from foes attacks by 20% of the greater of units, defense, or res. Okay. And grant special cooldown count minus two to unit before foes first attack during combat. Uh, during combat, if units max special cooldown count is uh, three or greater, and the units attack can trigger unit special. When special triggers, deals damage equal to 20% of the greater of units defense or res. Uh, and neutralizes reduces damage by X percent effects. Uh, yeah, yeah, during combat, if foes attack and trigger unit special. Uh, units next attack deals damage equal to 20% of the greater of units defense or res. And neutralize or reduce damage by X percent effects, not special ones. Okay, so I'm going to keep the bug with you. I didn't actually absorb anything it was saying. Uh, but what I can gather is uh, we're piercing, right? And that's a good thing. Because uh, I just wants to take hits, take hits, take hits, and then basically special bomb, right? Uh, I don't know what any of that has to do with being Lagoo's friend. But I'm down because uh, that's a fun nod, I guess. Uh, I will respectfully just wait until the meta heads talk about that, and then I can just get a summarized thing from them, uh, and that's chill. So, <laughs> I, I'll i be honest. I'm hyped that it's like, the amount of reading that I have to do, I don't enjoy that. That kind of saps all the excitement out for me. I just want to do cool stuff without it being so damn wordy. Okay, I'm a simple himbo sometimes, and that's all I want. I want my himbo Ike to be himbo simplified. Uh, so thank you in advance, those of you who do that kind of thing uh, for me to benefit. Uh, Cantor Control, sure, we know what that is. That's been around a while. Emblem Effect, Enhanced Engage Special. Okay, if those range is equal to two, and units or foes special is ready or triggered before or during this combat, reduce damage from foes next attack by 40%. I feel as though that has a niche application. Uh, but I'm sure it's very beneficial on those certain units that you pair with, right? I think Marth's was maybe a little more universal in its application. This, you're getting damage reduction if the attacking unit has a, a range of two and unit or foes special is ready. So, obviously, it pairs really well with Ike, right? Uh, I can see that being very beneficial on, like, far saves, maybe? Some along those lines? Uh, or maybe, you know, I mean, I guess just a ranged tank. Or a distant counter tank. Something along those lines. Uh, do those even exist anymore? Do saves even exist anymore? I'm not sure, frankly. Uh, I think that save armors are they're a little boring, okay? I'll say it. I'll be brave and I'll say it. They're not bad necessarily, I don't think. I just I you know, it's eh. Eh. You can do some cool things with them. I wish we could see more. Maybe this is a step in that direction. I don't know. But I'm sure this has maybe a little more application uh, than I myself... What the heck? I'm sure this has a little more application than what I myself am talking about. Uh, so, you know, you can discuss amongst yourselves. But 
that's kind of where I would see it is, you know, a big tank, like, uh, obviously that would benefit back in the day, at least, Brave Ike, right? Uh, someone who is uh, a melee with, like, distant counter capabilities, who's tanking, ranged foes, uh, or just save tanks. Uh, far save tanks, specifically, because it's only range of two, right? So, uh, that's kind of where I land on that. I think it's helpful. I think it's useful. I think it has more limited application. So, I don't think it is universally like, oh, that's crazy. But it is Ike, and Ike is Pog, and we love Ike. So, that's something to consider. Noontime? That's the best we got? Oh, crazy. Bro, that's crazy. With all I have. Great ether. I'm getting him explicitly for that animation. That's insane. That's actually nuts. The spin? Has he ever done a spin before? I don't think he's ever done, like, the spin before. Has he? Am I nuts? That was sick. Emblem heroes can engage with other heroes. Through that. The art's pretty tight, honestly. Settle this. Okay, I know you're gonna be tempted. I will take back what I was about to say in that that's not a terrible pair up. It's probably not the best. But it's not terrible. It's not terrible. Titania! You can't hide her from me, Faye. I saw her down there. I saw her. She's right there. I saw her. Are you planting an Easter egg for me? Are you planting an Easter egg for me? It's probably just... I mean... Look, there's... I think that's mist, and I think that's a leer. So Titania being there, I guess, God, it makes sense, I guess. Technically. I see you. I see what you're doing. One less threat. I would probably put that on my Mikhail low key. <laughs> that would be kind of hype. I am really curious what they're going to do with Colorless this time. There's Nino. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. What is Colorless? Tina. Both of them? Really? Interesting. Okay. Okay. Uh, 
Okay, that is a choice. That is a choice. <laughs> uh, all right. I guess they, I mean, look. The rearm dagger. They, they really, they really, really wanted to give you a hard time to pull a colonist. <laughs> They really did. Oh no. Okay. Well, uh, I mean that that is a choice. That is a choice that they made. Uh, let's take a look at this real quick. So, uh, my prediction down there is is what my best guess was at the time. Obviously, uh, if you saw the video, I had some concerns about red, uh, and I said that they might make the emblem a red hero there's a lot of swords in fire emblems so there's a lot of good candidates uh for red emblems they did end up going that route uh but ultimately i thought they would kind of stick to their habitual uh order and uh they didn't do that which <laughs> given how they're doing every other banner lately i shouldn't really be surprised by that i guess uh but 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 overall, still pretty close outside of whatever the heck happened uh, in Kellis. Because um, I think if the emblem was going to be red, then obviously the clear choice for green was going to be attuned to Nino, right? Kellis was always kind of the anomaly if it wasn't going to be a green emblem hero. Because uh, obviously then you could have a rearmed or tuned hero. Uh, in the form of Ginny. So I think in terms of color, uh, it is it is a bit of a mixed bag, honestly. I wouldn't pay any attention genuinely to blue or colorless. Uh, and I mean, green and red are pretty situational, honestly. Uh, they all offer different things, which is nice. But I think, I think this whole banner in general is very account specific. Uh, so I'm not going to give you a recommendation on, yes, absolutely pull. No, don't pull at all. Uh, I think it's up for you to decide how the units align for you personally and what you should you know, allocate your resources towards. Uh, obviously, I think the new Emblem Hero Ike is, is dope and cool and swag, right? But maybe he's going to be color sharing on his rerun a couple months from now on something that's a little more favorable. Because uh, I honestly, I low key kind of feel that way. Like, I have pass, right? So I can spark, and that's cool. Uh, but if you don't have pass, and you already have Alencia, you don't want any more. Embla, I'm sure, still serves a purpose somewhere. Um, That's why I do the hero tracker that allows you to know when heroes are coming back alongside Hoomst and letting you know uh, who I think will probably show up around that time. So if you want to play it safe, I'll have that video come out uh, as soon as I can, day of the banner releases, so I can get all the notes compiled uh, and, and brought to you there. But yeah, I, on a personal level, as someone who has a uh, fully capped uh, legendary Alencia already, I still kind of wish that Emblem Ike's debut was color sharing stronger choices. Because uh, presently, presently that doesn't quite feel s like super definitively good. It just kind of feels situationally good. 
uh, which is maybe something you're concerned about. Maybe it's not. So if you are pulling, good luck. Uh, if you want to wait, like I said, Hero Track will be out day of. Um, but yeah, this is this is uh, interesting. <laughs> That's interesting. I would almost guarantee that Jenny's on a rerun uh, next month as well. Uh, but hey, we'll have more to talk about that uh, when the Hero Tracker goes live. Uh, that's it for this one. Let me know what your thoughts are on the newest uh, legendary banner that also has Emblem Heroes. <laughs> uh, and what do you think of Emblem Mike? Pog? Not Pog? Let me know in comments. Uh, that's it for now. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Interesting. Interesting. Hey, yo. Real talk, though? Shouts out to Nintendo for uploading at 1080 60. Because that trailer actually looked hella crisp. Yeah, I should text Oblivion, actually. <laughs> oh, where'd my phone go? In my pocket? No. I'm not sure where my phone went. I can bring up Discord, though. I have it down here. Oop. Oh, GDK messaged me. Uh, let's see. Hey, man. You doing all right? <laughs> oh, God, that sucks so bad for him. That sucks so bad for him. <laughs> Uh, that's crazy. That's actually pretty crazy. Burp. Burp, burp, burp. Oh, I guess we should go ahead and get this edited, huh? Hmm. Oh, yeah, true. They're definitely not going in order. Because, like, as far as the the initial questing, Ike was, like, the last one you got. From, uh, Solm? Is it Solm? Is that the name of it? So, I think, honestly... Emblem appearances are going to be heavily influenced by the color option that they need to fill at the time. That's what I'm gathering from this. Which, you know, is good intel to have. And I guess it's helpful on the slightly more predictable options. Like, Ike could have been an axe... Almost was definitely going to be a sword. Right? However, your options like uh, Lynn or Lucina or any tome options, like, are they are they going to be their, like, namesake weapon? Are they going to be a bow? What color does that imply them as then? You know what I mean? Like, there's a, there's a lot of uncertainty that lives with that. Uh, so I can, I can imagine people being a wee bit panicked about that for sure. Hey everybody. Hey everybody. Chad, is my intro cringe? I'm going to pull. I shouldn't pull. I'm going to pull.
I shouldn't do it, I'm gonna do it. Respectfully, I'm gonna ask y'all. It also occurs to me I need to change my background on my home screen. Because I still have, like, winter snowy times on there. And it is very clearly spring. You know? How am I? I'm great. How are you, Elroy? Actually, I'm not great. I did find out how much I have to pay into taxes. It is a lot. It's okay. It's exactly the incentive I needed to sell more cipher cards. Had to do a little bit of editing there. So my one screen freaked out a bit. So, how do we feel about Emblem Mike, huh? That's pretty wild. Yeah, there we go. We get there. Gotta have so many things running right now. If my PC doesn't die, I will be kind of shocked, honestly. Like, legitimately shocked. Because I'm about to hit it with all the tasks, bro. Let's pop some music on. While I get the thumbnail made. It's always a good time for Animal Crossing. Frankly, TBH. Alright, see you, Elizabeth. Yeah, the pre-combat stuff is pretty wild. 
He tanked the Reinhardt, though. Why is this not living? Because all my health is in lieu here. This one's pretty cut and dry. You know what I mean? You know what's kind of wild? I never, I never really saw many uh, speedy Reinhardts running around. You know what I mean? Like when rearmed Reinhardt came out, I expected him to be more rampant. He's not. Not from what I can tell. Maybe I'm just not in the right echelons of stuff. Bro, that's wild. And look, just like that, we have thumbnail. That's true. I guess regular Reinhardt was such a value because he's been a demote for so long, you know what I mean? ping me back yet <laughs> he is not uh that's funny uh, that's funny all right all right Is everything going? What should we change this to? Not that. Not that. What should we change this to? Uh, do we have anything spring related? I honestly don't even remember. Ninja, Tea Time, Brides, Devotion, Harvest. Do we not have a spring one? Is that for real? tea time because that's like kind of close right that's like that's kind of like springy ish right yeah The 
the second anniversary? Which one's that? Why don't I get to see it? I'll stick with tea time. Tea time is chill. Tea time's a vibe. Percent saying no, not cringe. Hell yeah. Who have you said it was? That hurts my feelings. So we're just kind of waiting now. We're just chill. Uh, ba -ba -ba. Ba -ba -ba, ba -ba -ba. All right. We're back into it. That little Mike's pretty cool. I'm not going to lie. He's pretty cool, Logan. I'm a fan. Uh, I think he's dope and cool. I really wish his uh, share options were different. But it is what it is. I guess. Uh, we want... I would genuinely advise people to wait, probably, yeah. Ugh. Like, I think Alinci is great and has really good value. I don't know that I feel that way about Embla. And maybe I'm just not clued in enough. But... I feel I feel a certain way about that. Let me bring this back over here. There we go. Now I can kind of see everything. Hoggers. Uh, I think I can just go in here. That's what we were doing. Jeez. Puzzles. Am I even going in the right direction? Make a wish. Let's wait and see. Oh, repay. An elusive foretelling. Ill fate descends. There was somebody in comments. Memories are ever changing. Who explained to me why it was going to be a red emblem? Which I don't think I was ever fully against. I think I 
I'm pretty sure I mentioned that it could be red because there's a lot of good options for red. Watch your head. Um, but bro, they wrote me a book back, and I just I didn't have the brain capacity to like take all that in. Like they broke it out into segments, like it was a couple paragraphs long. And I was like, I, in my head, I'm like, I love that they're passionate about this. I can't, I'm not, I'm not going to read all that. <laughs> Part of me felt bad at the time, but, you know, it is what it is. They have the satisfaction of knowing that whatever they wrote was probably pretty valid. And I'm happy for them about that. You know? Oblivion. Destiny isn't chosen. Ill fate descend. I'll see you off. Huh. Eternal sl the dead return. Sure. Huh. The dice have been bust. Or maybe I'll take it off. Watch your head. I weep for the departed. Dude. <sighs> it too shall fall. Bro, we gotta get some relics on this girl. On the still waters of oblivion. You chose the wrong end. <laughs> we do this quick. Memories of beneath the waters lies an endless abyss. <sighs> We're so close. What do you want to know? Ill fate descend. Ah. Uh. I'll see you off. <laughs> there we go. Black Swan Arcana coming in clutch. Piece of cake. Good. They're pretty good. We take those. Uh, all right. Here's what we're gonna do. Because I just want her to be better. You know? We'll figure we'll figure out the details later, you know what I mean? God, that's so many. Dude, that's so many. Oh, that's so many. Okay. Okay. That's chill. Not everyone has time to read that long. That's true. I'm one of those people, for sure. But I still felt kind of bad about it. I like that people are passionate about things, you know? Yeah, we'll just we'll take the attack. If and when we find something better, right? We'll just we'll father these bad boys in. You know what I mean? Pretty much all speed though. That's not terrible. Nice. What we got? Wind. Okay. Well, this one seems pretty decent, honestly. Ooh. Okay. That I'm respectfully not going to level up. Because I don't see the point in that. But we have 3600 attack, which...
is way stronger than my Jing Liu. So that's something. Crit damage needs some work. But overall, we are much stronger now. And I love that for us. All right, so we made it to the top layer, which means now There it is. There it is. That's what we need to do. <sighs> Bro is not all right. He's not doing okay. Dream forth, a gleam of old Tight. Got it. Got it. Got it. Got it. And got it. Uh, how big do I plan on going? Oh, God, yeah, that's a good point, actually. Uh, I haven't thought about that. So. What the heck? Can I not get that? Okay. It's above me. I think it's just the bird thing, right? Nope. Oh, God. Uh, I don't know. I'm kind of hoping she's not this year. Is that silly? I'm hoping she's not this year. Because in my head... They're doing emblem heroes like every couple months. Right? So I would assume that we're only going to see like maybe five emblem heroes this year. You know? Um,. So since they've already done Ike, uh, maybe there's a good chance that they don't do Micaiah until like next year, you know, maybe like early next year, like January would be great. Uh... That's kind of my hope. My hope is that they just kind of hold off. And the joyous tour of Toy City has come to an end. Also realizing that as a tome, well, isn't all bad, right? she's probably a good fit use this for a lot of random filler options that they have. Poker table. Ooh. Hello. I can put you back together. Uh 
Oh. Yup. 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 Stream four. The green holds place. Ooh, I mess that one up. Although I guess this gives us a chance to see how strong she is now. Oblivion. Oh, okay. And the joyous tour of Toy City has come to an end. Oh, makes me feel sad. Oh, Panacone isn't all bad, right? I'll use this interesting experience as a talking point at the poker table. Oh, she's way stronger now. We're out of here. Oh, that was legit just the bird, I think. Oh, no. You're right there. I can't get to you, though. It's frustrating. Oh. I just, I wish they'd stop introducing hero types in the game. <laughs> That's my main beef. Out of a sand pit I want alive. different, I want different types to stop. Sunday is just beyond this door. From my limited understanding, he's not someone easily handled. Are you prepared? Mm-hmm. Yeah. If only I believe he's the one who should be prepared to face me. Tell me about your plan. I don't have a plan. I'll just play it by ear. There are only two kinds of bargaining chips when dealing with people. I do like this guy. Benefit or fear. This is my vibe. Looks like sincerity isn't in your dictionary. Am I not sincere enough? <laughs> There's no need to emphasize it. We've got to make good use of death. That man's sister is dead. He won't be able to turn a blind eye, and that's fear. And I'll help him find the murderer. He can't do it due to his status and position, but I can. And that's benefit. On what basis do you believe he's incapable, necessitating the delegation to someone from a rival faction, the IPC? Simple. Because that murderer could very well be a traitor hiding inside the family. Uh, um, do you mean the Galaxy Ranger whom you accused previously? <laughs> that was just an excuse. He did do her dirt. There's something wrong with that woman. We need someone who can keep her in check. It's better to minimize the variables outside our control while we execute our plans. Moreover, I need to know her identity. If I'm lucky, <laughs> she could be an important pawn. And it's good to have more helpful friends when dealing with this matter. But honestly, the murder case is likely unrelated to her. I believe my standpoint. There's a rat in the family. Otherwise, why would Mr. Sunday arrange a private meeting with us? This isn't an interrogation, but a secret negotiation. We'll see. Using Robin's death as a bargaining chip, I'll win back my freedom and power. In the end, I'll ruin this beautiful dream and create the grandest death. Oh. If the chance of winning is just beyond this door, even if that chance is close to zero, well... <laughs> You can't win if you don't play, right? Ah, the 
charming audacity. To think that you, of all people, might emerge victorious, dear Gamper. Three chips are enough. All or nothing. So, is he gonna kill somebody or? Because <laughs> it kind of is giving that vibe, to be honest. All right, there we go. All right, I'm back. I'm ready. I'm focused. I had to get the upload prepped. Treasure. Oh. It seems my puzzles are too effortless for you, IPC ambassador. Yeah, that was pretty easy, honestly. I appreciate your words. And I see you put a lot of effort into welcoming me, Mr. Sunday. However, this is no way to greet a guest. Well, this isn't an invitation, but a summoning. Oh. Before we speak, I need to test your character. I imagine this knowledgeable doctor friend of yours has been of great help, yes? Eh. Certainly. You ought to know this better than I do. He's already faithfully fulfilled his duties, hasn't he? Yes, the doctor has assured me of your noble character. He considers you, like himself, a virtuous person who can be trusted by the family. I have come to know you very well as a person, Mr. Aventurine. You're diligent, generous, and willing to cooperate. The fact that you succeeded in overcoming many obstacles just to meet me gave me the reason to believe in your wisdom and courage. But there's one thing I must ask you. That is, You've used your wisdom at the wrong place to meet the wrong person and put yourself in a situation where you shouldn't be. Witnessing a tragedy that shouldn't have happened. Oh. But you don't look too well. Am I making you anxious? If not, then it means I'm on your side. If I wasn't mistaken, you'd just made a serious accusation against the family. Hey, sleepyhead. Mm. I don't think your snoring got picked up by the mic. I made a really loud gasp noise. You did make a really loud gasping noise. That is true. <laughs> no, you weren't mistaken. For depravity is creepy. Jenna fell asleep on my you. giant foam cushion There's thing. There's no need for us to be evasive. Let's talk about your sister. Your sister's talent is unrivaled in the world of show business. As you know, her voice has been out of tune since she returned to Penicone. Oh. It's more disheartening. She can't oh, say anymore. <laughs> Who could be responsible for this? Many suspect the culprit is among the I think she's embarrassed. But I know. You hold a different opinion. Now your noble status has become a shackle, preventing you from apprehending the murderer and avenging your sister's death. You're feeling anxious because you're out on a limb. But don't worry. I'm on your side. I'm immensely honored by your concern for me, Mr. Aventurine. Since you're so selfless and generous, I believe you wouldn't ask for anything in return. Would you? Yeah, yeah. Well, naturally, you wouldn't incur any loss from this. I just want to reclaim mm -hmm. what is mine. My liberty and the personal items under the family's custody. The bag of gift money and... The box in which the cornerstone is stored. Ooh. That's right. Cornerstone. I've heard it's a treasured asset of the strategic investment department. 
a sacred stone that seals the preservation emanator, granting significant power, and every liquidation specialist holds one. For an object so precious, it probably comes at an even higher price than other forms of recompense. Well, I'm sure you're aware of the high level of risk I'll be undertaking to bring the truth to light. Mr. Aventurine, when you are out and about, do you always make adjustments to your appearance? Your tie should be on the center line. Your shirt must not protrude from your vest. Your trouser creases should be perfectly straight and always aligned with the tips of your shoes. Of course. But I don't, because it's not appropriate to do so in public. You should make sure everything is presentable and in order before leaving the house. I'm not the kind that takes risks. The cornerstone must be in the custody of the family. This dude's a real type, eh? No room for negotiation. Please, don't let me turn you down twice. Sure, the gift money is good enough. I suppose you wouldn't mind that. After all, a merchant can't function without a bargaining chip. You compromised quicker than I thought. Unfortunately, it's a gambler that needs a bargaining chip, not a merchant. I can give you your gift money, but before that, I want you to tell me. Do they know how to blink? Nah. <laughs> the fact that you can decisively forsake the box you asked for. What exactly is stored in it? Secrets? Oh, shrivel-faced soul. Please sear his tongue and palms with a hot iron, so that he will not be able to fabricate lies and make false vows. <sighs> what have you done? Under the light of the harmony, all wickedness is revealed. I implore them to shed their light, and I'll ask you questions on their behalf. Next, you have 113 seconds to prove your innocence and gain my trust. Dude, this guy's crazy. And if I refuse to answer? You can try, and we'll see if the harmony rejects you. <laughs> Question. Do you own a cornerstone? Yes. What a simple answer. You too understand that idol. 113 Jerry is a weird father. number. Did you hand over the cornerstone to the family when you entered Panacone? Yes. Does the cornerstone you handed over to the family belong to you? Yes. Is your cornerstone in this room right now? Yes. Is your memory free from any kind of tampering or deletion, encompassing but not restricted to the techniques of the Garden of Recollection? Yes. Are you an Avgen from Sigonia? Yes. You even know about that? Do the Avgins have any ability to read, tamper with, or manipulate one's own or another's mind? No. Does it matter? Do you love your family more than yourself? Yes. All the Avgins were killed in a massacre. Am I right? So does he have family? No. Oh. Are you your clan's sole survivor? <laughs> Perhaps. Do you hate and wish to destroy this world with your own hands? <sighs> I don't know. Interesting. Now, the final question. Can you swear that at this very moment, the Aventurine Stone is safe and sound in this box? 
Is that Black Swan? Being a bird? Hmm. <laughs> of course. <laughs> Looks like we can get an answer. Open it, Mr. Aventurine. It's your last chance to defend your honor. Uh oh. Please. Are these what you're looking for? <laughs> Are they? Since you came as promised, learned doctor, does this mean that you are willing to take the side of the family in this farce? What makes you think you can convince me? I've heard you haven't enjoyed Mr. Aventurine's company. I also understand that you're an avid learner who sees the pursuit of knowledge above all. In that case, you ought to realize that a competent scholar knows their position and wouldn't forsake more vital matters for the sake of petty pride. If you agree to assist the family, I'll share our research findings on the Stellaron. You must be quite aware that, besides the family, no other faction is willing to share such information. Hmm. Hmm. My thoughts Cut exactly. Chase. What do you need from me? I need Mr. Aventurine's comprehensive plan. Haven't you confiscated his cornerstone? You can't expect a featherless bird to take flight. But I've also heard the ten elites in the Strategic Investment Department have united, progressing together in the interests of the IPC. There have been so many you little footnotes during these conversations. That. <sighs> the cornerstone which Mr. Aventurine surrendered. Was it really his? You question whether he would entrust you with someone else's cornerstone. The Ten Stone Hearts aren't as united as you think. Cornerstones are significantly more precious to them than their very own lives. But you know that he's a crazed gambler. The more vocal he is about it, the more cautious I must be. I never imagined someone would share his way of They really like pointing out that he's a gambler. You should see a shrink. Bring it. The box containing the cornerstone is unique, and only IPC senior staff and related members can access it. But I happen to be among them. Who? I appreciate it. Unfortunately, your guess is correct. <laughs> the Golden Stone. Its color and glow are similar to that of Klepoth's body. This is the very ruse he intends to use to fool you. He won't reveal to you that the Ten Stone Hearts chisel their own will into the cornerstones, granting them an unparalleled radiance. And this golden statue is also known as Topaz, not Adventurine. And it belongs to Topaz. Oh. So. Do you wish to confront him? Uh, 
Not at the moment. Which he is Topaz's boss. Interested to know the location of his cornerstone. The safest place somewhere you'd never think of. Because he never intended to hide it. In fact, that cornerstone has been in your hands from the very beginning. I see. This bag. Mixing a cornerstone. More precious than life itself. With a bunch of worthless jewels. Disguised as a gift of money waiting to be confiscated. Is indeed in line with Mr. Aventurine's style. Then he makes up some trivial excuse, downplaying the matter, and requests the gift money. This is a gamble. One he's all too familiar with. Betting on your single misstep, leading to a total loss. Learned doctor, I am grateful for your help. The family will surely reward a righteous person like you. As for the villain, <laughs> I hope he retreats in humiliation. Did I miss something? Why? Why did they want to give Topaz's cornerstone to him? A blot of utter failure to your storied career. Ratio, you rat. <laughs> Finally shown your true colors, huh? Oh, and just to remind you, you currently only have 17 system hours left to live. Treasure your remaining time. And savor the delectable aftertaste of defeat. <sighs> you might as well explain yourself a little more clearly. What I performed on you just now was the Harmony's consecration. You were to show allegiance beneath the illumination of their grace. Yet you acted willfully, uttering nothing but falsehoods, transforming the consecration into a trial. I genuinely see no reason to absolve you from it. <laughs> is this what the harmony represents? But is it built upon constraint and coercion? <laughs> you misunderstand, Mr. Aventurine. Punishment is meant for the irreverent. But I have seen your resilient spirit, and thus I offer you the possibility of a new beginning. Throughout these 17 system hours, Sunday is nuts, bro. Escape the dreamscape, or contact any of your companions. You only have two paths before you, and it all depends on whether you can complete my test within the time limit. Should you succeed, you will be able to coalesce into the harmony and be with your family. If you fail, you will suffer the wrath of the eternal centurion and fall into an abyss of doom. Oh. oh. Sounds like I'm gonna end up the same either way. I indeed do need a servant to help me uncover the evil hidden in the family from an external perspective. I will purge the evil from the inside. Yeah, I'm with the bold words, bro. ...to justice within 17 system hours. When the time comes, compare your findings with mine. If both our findings align, or if you can provide me more insights, then they will truly be able to grant you mercy and honesty. Shameless hypocrites. You took everything from me and still demand the truth. That isn't fair. Your carnival reeks with a stench of cash. Nothing is achievable without it. This is meant to be an act of personal virtue, not requiring the family's support. Your bag is over there. Do as you please. I believe you can trade this bag of worthless jewels for everything you need. That's what gamblers excel at, isn't it? Oh. <laughs> Off you go, Mr. Aventurine. You are free. I will wait here for your good news. This meeting isn't an interrogation or a negotiation. It's an outright execution.
execution. <laughs> Why would I do that, Mr. Aventurine? I'm just wondering what a passerby who stumbled upon a scene of a murder could have found out. That's all. By the way, I don't love that. Go, I have a personal question. <laughs> what is it now? You... Do you truly wish to bring about the destruction of this world? Kakavisha! Where did you go? Oh, are you injured? I got it back, sister. You went to look for them? That's too dangerous. It's just a necklace. It's neither food nor water. We can survive without it. I can't live without you, little brother. Promise me not to look for those catacombs again, okay? Sister, don't be afraid. The catacombs are fools, but I'm smart. I played a game with them. And I won! Won? What happened exactly? Tell me. I made a bet with them. The two birds in the desert and me. Who will die first? I won. They suspected me of cheating, but I didn't. I won fair and square. What? Of course. Of course you'd win. You've always been a lucky child. Gayatra Triclops must be watching over you. But that's no reason to push your luck by going up against those... Those bloodthirsty, cruel catechins. Have you forgotten how mom and dad... This is just a necklace. But Kakavisha, you are my only family. Why do we care about a necklace? I thought you'd be happy. Because mom left you this necklace. Okay, never mind. There will be no next time. It is important, but not as important as you, my dearest brother. I, I don't blame you, but you must remember what pain and poverty are the trials of Gayatra Triclops. She has also granted us a chance, and that's your good luck, Kakavasha. Your good luck is the most precious wealth we all Avgen have. You're a child blessed by Gayatra Triclops and can lead the clan to happiness. So always remember to protect yourself and never resent the pain and poverty you're going through. All right? Listen to me and swear to Gyathra Triclops. Okay. Gyathra Triclops is a funny name. To protect this wealth. I'll say it. But sister... Gaiathra Triclops was really watching over us. Then why did she not protect Dad when he was swept away by the quicksand? After all, Dad went to the Catacombs land only to prepare for Gaiathra Triclops' offerings. But where was Gaiathra Triclops when Mom was shivering in our arms? Mom was still pleading for Gaiathra Triclops' forgiveness under her breath. Till the moment she closed her eyes. Sister, everyone praises me for being smart, but I don't get it. Every rainpour was Gyathra Triclops' forgiveness and grace. And how bad were our sins? So much so that we were born in this world of death? Oh, we're swapping. Um, excuse me. Hello. I can't seem to find any information on this artist in the Iris family archives. The photo you provided also doesn't show any matches. Hmm, just as I thought. I'd like to ask, what kind of traces do people leave when they enter a dream? Are you referring to the records when you enter the dream pool? The equipment will monitor physiological indicators, such as heart rate, blood oxygen levels, and body temperature in real time. This data will be included in statistics and handed over to the family for the screening of any data anomalies. Immediate action will be taken once any illegal behavior is detected. Eh? I apologize. The hotel does not have access. This information is managed by the Bloodhound family. 
We can only gain access if there's a problem. Looks like nothing can be found here. At least we know who to look for next. We can ask the Bloodhound family for information. Gallagher? Thank you for your assistance, Miss Allie. By the way, is Miss Robin doing fine? We are looking forward to her performance. Fine? What does that mean? Is there something wrong with Miss Robin? The preparations for the Charmony Festival have been proceeding smoothly. So, I guess things are pretty good. I believe she will be able to put on a spectacular show for all of you. Hmm, I'm sure. She's dead. <laughs> She's super sure. dead. No one knows about Miss Robin. I'm not surprised. But that Miss Firefly is truly mysterious. There's no information on her in the hotel system. Yeah, it's because it's Maybe Sam. She's a stowaway. She should have a disguised identity. After we have been trip. over this. She's also in the running for the legacy. How is she going to sneak into the dreamscape unnoticed? Is there any other way to enter a dream? Besides the hotel room's dream pool? Uh... The Memo Keepers have abilities that are difficult for normal people to comprehend. In the Memory Zone of Penacony, they thrive effortlessly. A fact proven to us by Black Swan. Mm -hmm, we like her. The hacker girl from the Stellaron Hunters used extraordinary means to unlock the Dreamscape Hotel's seal. According to the scene witnessed by him, it is likely that they are behind Miss Firefly's case. Oh. The Garden of Recollection. And the Stellaron Hunters. Both are possible. But what about the IPC? Since they want Penacony all for themselves, they're bound to have a plan. Huh. Who are you guys? The Bravo team has arrived at their designated position. Eh? Ready to execute armed evacuation operations. Bob, get moving. Armed evacuation? Boss, aren't you drunk? What do you know? It's more efficient this way. He found my phone. To find oh, out. Act first, report later. Understood. Help! Help me! I spent all my year end bonus on the snowball. I don't want my name on the department's major disciplinary notice. Hey, check it out. That place. Could it be the IPC workers from Bellabog? Yep. To all guests, the IPC will be conducting special operations within the hotel. Please follow the staff in charge of evacuation to the designated safe zones, or compulsory measures will be enforced. <sighs> I'll request a beating for you lot! You've been told not to drink during work hours. <sighs> Topaz is here. I'll organize a meeting later to properly go over how this incident report should be written. Miss Topaz? I never thought I'd run into you on Penacony. Imagine. <sighs> Long time no see, Astral Express crew. Event Terrain has told me a lot about your happenings. Huh? Fine. Do as I ask and try to avoid any conflicts with the family. Report to me before taking any action. Mm -hmm. Yes. All right. As you see, the IPC isn't very popular here on Penacony. Cordiality from the family is a mere facade. The former frontier prison has turned around and cuffed its shackles on the IPC staff now. Only a Venturine, who carries an invitation, is allowed to attend the banquet. An entourage like us, we can only sit around in the Reality Hotel, unauthorized to even enter dreams. No wonder a Venturine's scrambling to partner up with someone. The IPC can't back him up in the dreamscape. Mm. <sighs> His situation isn't optimistic, I hear. You're all helping to investigate some dirt on the family. Are you not? 
Let me know if you need anything outside the dreamscape. The IPC always treats its partners well. That's us, we're partners. Thank you, Miss Topaz. We're on our way to the Hounds to verify some intel. Perhaps you've had dealings with them? Mm-hmm. <laughs> yep. They're tailing us right now. Why not go and talk to them? It'll take the spotlight off me. Being constantly stared at is really uncomfortable. To the hounds! Oh. What? Oh. How does it feel to be in business with Aventurine? <laughs> I bet you're not used to it. That's no. just his style. Ball or nothing is his motto. Very not. He's used to it cozy respectfully minds, while egging them on to undertake some dangerous assignment with him but everyone has their merits so i won't comment further but venturine's luck has always been good he's always closed all his cases without a hitch and basically never lost a gamble which is why on the issue of retaking tana county i'm watching with keen interest as for the two cases, apologies, but I don't have much info on them either. All I can do is ask you to keep digging for more details. And dig I shall. We're carrying out our captain's orders. What, what do you want? We'll have gamers. We made a mistake last time, and we're working hard to rectify it now. We don't have time for anything else. Surveilling the IPC executive Topaz, ensuring that she stays put at the Reverie Hotel during her time on Panacone. We've got the right one this time. So that's it. They were the pair who were after Firefly at the time. Oh, they were talking about... <laughs> that's crazy. Uh, it's you again. Back for more trouble? We're not afraid of you this time. Well... I'll fight him. I am afraid. Nothing important. So you know each other. Uh, why do you keep running into people you've beaten up before? <laughs> I beat up a lot of people. That's right. We're investigating a murder for the family. May we access the hotel's dream pool entry records? Uh, well... Hey! The security officer instructed everyone to shut their trap before he returned from Dream's Edge. What? What murder? You'd better stop spouting nonsense. Yeah, uh, uh, that's right. We have nothing to report. They don't know please, we know. Please. Oh, Those no. They're not going to cooperate. But they did at least tell us that the captain is at Dream's Edge. Uh, why don't we just look at ah. the security officer then? Fools. It's probably Gallagher, the one he mentioned, right? Please continue to investigate the case. All I can do is sit tight in the real world. Okay. Uh How much more do you think we have, chat? All right, one of those was new. I don't know which one it was, but one of them was new. Why is there a record of your place with the Uh Who do I need to build still? Oh, we can synth.
Okay. Hell yeah, bro. Let's cap out Himiko. Why not? Beautiful. Uh, I'm trying to figure out which weekly boss I should grab to. We got plenty of those. Probably those, huh? Actually, I kind of want to build a herd of two. Maybe I need my day one. I have plenty of these guys. That's a lot. It is twelve thirty. Honestly, chat. I feel like we're at a decent stopping point. The only thing I kind of want to do is get some mats for Gallagher quick. And I know we need these. Oh, that's the, oh. My dear memo keeper, are you bold enough to let me guard your back? No. That seems like a bad idea. An elusive foretelling. Ill tidings manifest. I'll see you off. Memories are beneath the waters lies an endless abyss. <laughs> I feel like we got to be close to finishing the story. Like, we're probably a good halfway through, right? It too shall fall. I'll go easiest. What do you want to know? Ill fate descends. Free will, or was it fate? Eternal the dead rich. Turn. Turn. Oh. Receive divinity. Uh. Repay. There's no power like two uh. again. <laughs> yeah. Ill tidings manifest. <laughs> That's half the work. Destined for oblivion. Noish. Ooh, so many. An elusive foretelling. Ill fate descends. Beneath the waters lies an endless abyss. 
The dead return. Bloom. Repay. I weep for the departed. It too shall fall. Young Spiffy? Can you find the answer? Ill tidings manifest. Destined for oblivion. <laughs> oh, we can run it back. I can't wait to get really good relics on her to just have her do insane stuff. Didn't even see it. <laughs> the dead return. You guys didn't see it, but we just ticked down to uh, from 29 to 30 trailblaze power, which allowed us to run this one more time. Which felt pretty, pretty dope. I would never. That's crazy. Chill. Sheesh. All right. What did I get? To be the memory zone meme shell of fate. Oh. I wonder what Lycan's good on him. I could give one of these each to Locha and Gallagher. That could be tight. Intuition, instinct, training can sharpen them both. Totally. That's so wise and true. F. So close. Ooh. We are going to run out of those. All right. Ugh. Shall we? We're pretty close to pity on this too, I think. Honestly.
Yeah, we're at 70 here. Could be 71. Trash. Other garbage, man. God, Jade's though. That's tight. I actually, I do need to do like all of this stuff still. Like, there's. There's a, there's a fair amount in here still. And I mean, that's just Golden Gears. I got... Uh, the other one with the bugs. I gotta do all that, too. <sighs> plenty of rewards to get. For sure. We got plenty of time. Uh, but I will be doing more Star Rail streams uh, more frequently, I think, probably once a week uh, to try and cut into that content a little bit better. Did you freeze? What happened? I think Star Rail just froze. All good. No worries. Chat, it is that time. It do be that time. Uh, because it's almost 1 a.m. And I would really like to sleep at some point today. Um, thanks for hanging out. Thanks for watching. Thanks for chatting. Thanks for chilling. Uh, lurking. All the above. Uh, new vid is out. Nope. There's a lot of comments. I'm getting overwhelmed. <laughs> uh, all right. I'm gonna take off. I'm gonna take off. I'm gonna go get some sleep. And you know what? If it's late, maybe you should do that too. Maybe you also should take a little nappy new, you know? But like a long one. You know, like sleep. That could be cool. Anyway, I'm heading out. Good night, chat. Good night. I have to figure out how to come up with tax money. That's tomorrow's plan. Have a good one, chat. We'll see you later. Bye-bye. Have fun. Have a good night. Bye-bye. See you later. See you later. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. See you later. Have a good night. Bye-bye.